have a look at this. <laughs> this is the rear engine lid. <laughs> it's got a quite a nice curve to it. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Is this savable? <laughs> look at the separation there. This thing is twisted more than a pretzel, but it is an early lid and obviously it has got the that patina that we're looking for once we get all this uh you can see there's the original blue underneath once we do the paint stripper but 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 it is really 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 bent now can i fix this can we potentially give it a crack i do have a brand new one of these lids in in the green but i kind of don't really want to use it i want to see if we can get this fixed so let's uh, stick it on the concrete and wallop it with a hammer and see what we can get out of it so just cut this off from there. Let's have a look and see how she fits. I think that's gonna do the job just beautiful. So I'm just using the vise as a as a, a clamp to try and crimp the uh, the corners all around. You can see already it's looking a million times better. Uh, I did have to cut this piece out here, and I'll just have to weld it back in because it was. Uh, kind of in the way to try and get this piece of metal straight but yeah look you know you in in these situations you've got to just try and use your head and come up with any means possible to try and do this I mean I'm not conventional in any means and like I said before I've got no training in this stuff I'm just making it happen with my own you know using, using my own gray matter sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and that's it you know just just get it done get it straight you kind of know where things are bent and where, where they're not and just improvise use use whatever tools you got to get the thing to the work to work so yeah i'm just trying to clamp it and get it all uh, get it straight and i'll keep going Well, there you have it. A little bit of perseverance and you can get things straight. I mean, it's not, it's not 100% perfect, but for, for this uh, build, it's gonna be pretty good. So what I've still gotta do is just fix up that rear ribbed section behind it and that'll take care of this little wave along the bottom here. You know, once we've weld some new hinges in it, uh, this bit here, I'll have to patch that up, just put some new metal on that. You know, there's the original uh, the original lid. Instead of putting a brand new green one and then you've got to do colour matching and all the rest of it, uh, there you go, got it saved. So super happy with that. And let's move on. We'll get the other back section of it welded back in and then we can call it good. All right, we've got, we've got this piece here to try and get straight. Man, is it a mess. Look at it. It's got cracks in it, it's completely just, I just put it through the sandblaster to clean it up a little bit, but yeah, okay, this is going to test my skills, <laughs> got to get that thing straight to put on the back, um, hmm, all right, let's go, let's get, get to it.
Okay, so what I'm doing now is just opening up this flap you can see there um, only because only because we've got to get the sheet inside here so I'm just using a screwdriver and just putting it in there and just tapping it and just opening up that seam and then we can slide the piece in and then crimp it crimp it back down again so we'll get onto that okay so I got the bashed up piece uh, reasonably straight um, and what I've done now is just tucked it into the under the lip and just clamped it for now just so I can sort of finalize all the positions for the corners here and then I can um, start to weld this section here and this section here and then um, yeah we might just put some panel bond behind the seam see how we go but yeah it looks like it's going to work it still needs just a, a little bit of tweaking once it's done but uh yeah well i think we're going to be uh it's going to be winner winner what i'm going to do with this it almost looks like a a snow angel and i'll just i'll just chop a nice little um square out of that and and put a you know a little replacement piece in it i suppose i think they had a plug or something there i don't know but you know how good's the way they chopped it out <laughs> yeah love it all right we'll uh, keep moving forward right hey so we're ready to get this thing welded in just got a couple of spots here to plug weld on the top seam the bottom seam's been crimped and uh we had to re-weld the capsulated nuts on the back of this guy so that they could do its thing but apart from that it'll all go together no problem at all all right let's get this thing tacked in Okay, so that's all welded in. Uh, we'll give it a bit of a clean up with the flat disc. And all I've got to do now is just chop that little section there out, because it, <laughs> I don't know what, I mean, I must have used a drill bit to do something there. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, we'll just cut a nice little square and patch that up. And uh, we're going to do that with a couple of new tools that I bought. I should have got these ages ago, but uh, you know, I've got some cordless grinders and look at these little bad boys eh 5.2 18 volt lithium batteries on them got two one is a flat disc and one as a cutoff wheel i'm sick and tired of having grinders with cables and cables running all over the floor and just does your head in and i mean for this sort of work it's actually perfect you can just grab one quickly chop something weld something grab the other one now these were only 90 98 bucks for the for the skin so for the unit and then you've got to buy the batteries and they were i think 98 dollars for the battery so you're looking at 200 bucks per unit and mate they're they're unreal they last forever too so and i did get a, a double charger with it uh they're a zito i mean they're not they're not a fantastic brand they're a pretty cheapy brand but mate for this sort of work they've got a five-year warranty and that's um that's good enough for me and like you know if they if they fail they fail I'm not going to go and spend, you know, on a DeWalt or a Makita or one of these ones and you're paying, I think, four, five hundred bucks each for them. So they will do the job just nicely. I did watch a video on battery storage and, the, you know, having your battery last the longest it possibly can. An interesting thing, um, this guy did some tests and the best thing to do if you're not using the, the, the unit take the battery off and just store the battery on its own. Don't leave it in the charger and don't leave it in the item because it'll actually uh, leak out and, and you know slowly lose its charge. So then your cycle rate goes down on your battery life. So yeah, apparently once you've charged them up on your charger, you're supposed to take them off the charger and just leave them like that. That's another one I've got. Uh, and then they'll last a lot longer. So that was something I didn't know. I used to just, you know, leave tools like this with the battery already mounted on it. So there you go. Live and learn something new every day. So I'm trying to get these out and they're being super problematic. I've heated them up and, uh, you know, WD-40 and belted them with a, with a, with a hammer and the, the screws just don't want to play ball and come out yet. So I'm just going to soak them for a few days 
just keep spraying them with penetrine and see if we can get them to loosen off because I don't like drilling them out and then having to retap and do all that funny business. So anyway, that's one more thing. We will continue on this door and weld in this little patch here and then we might paint strip the other side of it and see how how we can get the uh, the colour to come up on this thing. Right, oh, so there we go. We've got uh, one little patch in. We'll give this a, a flat back and uh, call it good. It is paint stripper time. And I'm living on the edge and doing it without gloves. Because that's just how I roll. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, we've got this pretty much complete. Just got to flap this uh, this little guy here back a little bit and pull a couple of these little dints out. But you know, we've got we've got the blue mainly there. I'll, I'll try and uh, get rid of a bit of the white as much as I can. But if we go and put this on the bus, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> We're gonna start paint strippering the, uh, the back hatch now. But anyway, that's gonna work. That is gonna work just nicely. Righto guys, so that's gonna do it for this video on the rear tailgate. I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think that's come up, saved it, and um, yeah, happy days. We can move on with the rest of the build. Remember what your mum told you when you were a kid? Share, like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> We'll see you guys in the next video. Woo!